is going on? Dry 2 Crew, Ramley here with a brand new tutorial and we are continuing on with our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers tutorials. Today, we are going to draw the Tyranno Ranger, also known as the Red Ranger or Jason. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, of course, this is the fifth of the original Rangers that I got uh, a tutorial on, on this channel. So if you guys have not seen the others, make sure you check them out as well. Uh, I have them in a nice, neat little playlist, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so first thing I'm doing is I'm drawing a circle. I'm drawing it fairly high. So here at the top of my page, like so, okay? Now again, I usually draw it about the size of a mug, a little bit bigger than the size of a mug. And um, I am not too worried about the perfect perfection, perfectness of the circle, uh, as long as you get um, you know, the, basic, the basic shape right, okay? And then from there, we're going to start shaping the mask like so. So there's the side. There's the chin right around here. And then it's gonna go this way. And then it's gonna be a little bit wider than this. So I'm gonna bring, see how I went a little bit further than that circle there. And there you have it. Okay, so the center of this is gonna be, okay, let me just Fix this. Make sure you draw your lines lightly so that you're not, you know, having a hard time erasing these guidelines a little bit later on. Center line is going to be right around here. Okay, good. Line for the neck goes right here. Line for this neck goes over right around here. Again, you don't want to make it too too wide or too narrow. So about this far from the, the base of the head here, but that far is pretty good. Make a nice little curve, and that's probably where I want it to end up as well. And there you go. Okay, now I'm going to draw the shoulders, just, just some basic lines for the shoulder. This one's a little bit higher than this one. And then center line for the neck and torso. And then just shape your torso. I've been doing this with our uh, Power Rangers tutorials because I'm mainly focusing on the, um, on the design of the helmet. So I'm not really focusing on the body. So anytime we draw the body, we're kind of just drawing it like uh, a sculpture is drawn with just the bust. That's what this is called. Okay, there you go. And I think uh, that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my melting eraser. It's been really hot here in Thailand. And I'm going to just erase the bottom part of that initial circle that we drew. And I'm going to start shaping out the basic uh, general shape for our Jason. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is kind of drag draw a line going like this. And this is, of course, where the mouth is going to be. And it's going to go like this. Okay, so pretty much like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. I'm going to erase this line right here and I'm going to change that center line so that it looks like this because, um, well, there's a wide gap right here between these two lines. So that's the center line for the mouth. This is the center line for the rest of the helmet. I'm going to find the spot right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start shaping out the visor. So that one goes to the edge like so. And then this one, we're kind of going to try to find a little point right here. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Because we got to start shaping out the T-Rex uh, the T-Rex mouth as well. So I would say that the uh, Red Ranger's helmet is probably the most complicated out of the five that uh, I've done on this channel. So this one's probably the hardest. Okay, so there's that point. And then find a spot right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw two lines going this way. This one kind of just goes to the edge here, starting to look like a motorcycle helmet. Okay, right here, this just goes across like this. 
Okay, and then this one right here, I'm going to actually draw in like so. Now you see how there's a bit of a, a gap here. Okay, like a little ledge area. I'm gonna bring that down to here. Okay, not quite done. Right around here and here is where we're gonna start drawing the uh, Tyrannosaurus teeth. Actually, let me fix this one a little bit. What you want to do is you want to make this line parallel with this line. This is going to follow the same, the same line. And it's just going to go around the visor. Okay. Flat line right here. There you go. And then you do the same thing on this side. So find where it sort of matches in distance. That goes to the edge. This one looks like it's about right here. Bring it out. And then this goes to the edge as well. Okay. Not bad. Find the center spot of these two. And you draw two faint lines. This one is going to go this way. And then this one is going to go about here. Okay. I'm going to reshape this a little bit to make room for the eye. And same thing over here. It's going to be a little bit of a not so rounded. Okay. So I'm going to take a look at my lines here and make sure that um, my lines look symmetrical and they look right. So what I'm going to do is just match match this side and this side and make sure that they kind of look alike, look similar to each other. And what I'm doing here at the top is I'm sort of creating this, little, I don't know what you call it, like a little ledge area, like a, a three dimensionality to it. So it looks like that. Okay, now I'm going to find a spot right here. I'm going to draw a line going across and then diagonal lines like so. A little bit below that, I'm going to find a spot right here. I'm going to start working on the, uh, the eyes. Okay. So that goes like that. And then right around here, it's going to draw it like this for now. And then kind of the same, same area right here. This goes out like that. And then this little corner right here should kind of be in the center of this. Okay. And then the other eye is going to be right there. Okay. So there you go for now, you guys. We're going to cut to commercial, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and start working on the details. In the meantime, why don't you grab another pencil, make sure you have a sharp tip for the next couple of steps. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right guys, so here we are. Let's continue drawing our uh, Tyrannosaurus, um, Tyranna Ranger head, our Red Ranger head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus at the top right now, and then we'll work on the visor and then work our way down. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to create the three dimensionalness, three dimensionality of this crest here at the top. So what I'm doing is I'm creating like this uh, two lines across here to make it like popping out. And then right here as well. So we want to draw a second line going down along here. They meet over here and then they go to the back like so. Okay, so that's a uh, takes care of that spot. Right here we have the two dinosaur nostrils and I'm just going to draw them as 
two black squares, rectangles actually, one on each side, like that. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but feel free to take a look at the reference photo that I have for this. It's actually the bust from, is it Bandai or Hasbro? I think it's Bandai. It is the bust that you can get of the uh, Red Ranger, um, like a statue. All right, so here now let's focus on the this eye. It goes up like this a little bit and then goes back to the outside like that. And what you want to do is you want to create like this crest going down the center right here, like a, a, a bit of a curve like so. Okay, and then you kind of do something similar on this side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find basically where the eye is going to be and it's going to be like this. Okay, so it's a bit, it's got a bit of an edge to them, to it. And this one is going to be, going to be a little C shape like this, or not a C shape, but an, a J shape. And then go back over here and then we're going to make a half circle going all the way to the tip like this. Okay, so this is dark colored and color this one dark as well. Okay, so right around here, I'm going to draw the recess of that eye. So I'm just going to draw like this. And then I'm going to draw a third one. Like that. And I'm going to double up on this line and this line only to give it that depth. Okay, now let's go over here and do something similar on this side. Just a line going down here at the bottom and going up like so. There you go, just cleaning it up slightly. And I think we're pretty much done for the most part. We're done with the top part here. I'm just gonna make this one a little less prominent. I don't wanna make it stick out too much, especially compared to this side. And I think we've got our Tyrannosaur head. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're gonna focus on the visor part. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double up on this line right here because this is like a white area. And same thing down here, I'm going to double up on this, this line right here. that part. Now we're going to draw some teeth and I'm just counting how many teeth there are. It looks like there's nine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the middle tooth right here. I'm going to draw them as just triangles going down. Okay, and then the middle tooth. They do have a little bit of a curve to them. Okay, so I kind of figured where the center would be on this top and the bottom. And then I'm just going to draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this, uh, you wanna make sure that this edge right here, uh, this last tooth kind of hits that corner right there. And you wanna make sure as you do this that the teeth are roughly the same size. So I'm going to just fix it slightly to make sure that it's all uh, pretty similar in size with each other. If not, then, you know, just go back and fix it a little bit, no big deal. I just uh, did a little bit of an outline there to give it that three-dimensional look to it. There's the center, one, two, three, four on this side, and four on this side. Okay, got 
got two lines here as well. There you go. Now over here, we'll do something similar. But I'm just going to go one, two, three, and then as I get closer to each other, they start to overlap each other. And as I go further to the edge, so there's about five there, but then these two are very small and they kind of overlap. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw that outline, two lines. And then this one, make sure that it's standing up like this. You're seeing it from the side. One, two, three, and you don't really see the rest. There you go. Diagonal lines for the glistening transparent helmet. There you go. Now let's continue. Okay, so that that does that. This one goes really close to the edge here. Instead of making the chin flat, I'm going to give it a little bit of a point. And then this thing is gonna follow. Okay, so this is going to double up like so, and then right here. Okay, so from here up to here again, but over here on this side, you wanna see how there's a bit of a wider, uh, it's wider over here than it is over here. Okay, after that, we're gonna draw Two lines each time. There you go. And then lastly, we're going to draw the lips. There we go, it goes across, and then a thicker lower lip, which I'm not going to connect. And that's it right there. So now I'm going to zoom out. Now we really need to do all that's left to do is the neck. Just make sure you get that neck right. Again, I like to draw uh, this collar, little collar area right here. Shoulders and then diamond shape. And there you go. Trying to see if there's anything else. I think we've got it all covered, you guys. And having said that, I think we are done. There you go, there's Jason, the red Tyranno Ranger. Thank you so much for tuning in. There will be more uh, MMPR Mighty Morphin Power Rangers tutorials this week. I'm sure you can guess the next two who they're going to be. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Catch you next time, bye-bye. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that. 
a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video right here comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media and speaking of social media don't forget you guys can find me on instagram on facebook and of course on my website draw2.com where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video again you guys all of the links to those are found in the description of this video so be sure to check that out finally thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.